Welcome guys, I'm Al. I'm Daniel. And this is the Call to Whiskey. All, All Hail, Hail Cow. Cow. Today we're talking about the one, the only, Italian whiskey. That's right. Welcome back. And today we're talking about the Italian whiskey. That's kind of exciting, Daniel. It is. That's pretty it's exciting. It's the only one. It's the only Italian whiskey. So uh, there's only, the, the, these are the first Italian distillers to open up in Italy ever. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. That's absolutely crazy. So the box in this, let's take a look at this. So the bottle is absolutely beautiful, right? It is a um, beautiful you know, bottle that there's nothing else like it that I've ever seen. And it comes in this box, then, then this brown, almost paper bag, right? Now the brown paper bag that comes in, it's got this cute little, just made in Italy right there, right? Beside that box, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Now Daniel and I, we come back, we, we come from a wine background, right? So, uh, the, we love Italian uh, uh, wine, true. right? I, even in California, <clears throat> uh, if I see a Sangiovese, I gotta try it, right? Like, I absolutely have to try it. We love Sangiovese. Why don't you take the honors, Dan? I'll sure. Go ahead and pour this out. History time. Located in the Alps of Italy, Puni was founded in 2010, and the first distillation was achieved on February 24th, 2012. The first bottling of Puni was in October of 2015. This distillery uses traditional pot stills from Scotland and is 100% malted barley sourced from Italy and Bavaria, Germany. They boast a pretty wide range of expressions, especially for being so young, from wine cask winners to ex pita cask. This particular bottle spent two years in first filled bourbon cask and then two additional years in Pedro Menes sherry casks. The name Sol means sun and refers to the process of sun drying grapes to make sherry, known as Solera. This concludes history time. So it's 46% ABV, uh, it's non-chill filtered, it is natural coloring, and it is an NAS age statement. But on their website, uh, they clearly say that it's four years and, and four years old. Okay, so um, I love the the pure transparency on their website. They tell you everything, right? So uh, most people are, you know, they're trying to hide things. They're, uh, they're, they put E150 color additive, they chill filtered. They don't, won't tell you what it is on uh, on their website and, and it's always a mystery, but they're very honest. It's four years old. They just don't put it on the bottom because uh, I'm guessing and uh, it'll uh, scare people off, right? So let's take a look at the nose. Mm. Oh, on the nose, that's a beautiful, so you have Pedro Menez, Sherry Cass, two years first fill uh, bourbon, and two years in Pedro Menez and Sherry, right? And you now, really smell the Sherry. Oh my God. So that, that Sherry is uh, just clear on the nose, right? It's super sweet. You got your raisins, your plums, green apples. A little bit of pear. I think I can almost smell a little bit of the blood orange. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 In, that, that, in, in that fruit. Yeah, then that, that, that's the what they were going for on the box, right? They, they're go, and then they're going for the blood orange. I get like fresh berries, and like green grapes. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Well, let's take it. Yeah. Uh, so fast. It's uh, to be honest, oh, a really interesting flavor. Yeah, to be honest, I like the nose better than I do like the taste. Um, the 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 nose is almost promising uh, something. The flavor does take kind of a sideways turn around yeah. itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the, the, on the nose, it's very sweet, and then on the palate, it's actually meatier on the palate, yeah. right? Like it, it's got a uh, it's it's a little bit denser on the palate, so you you get something I wasn't prepared for. I, I get almost like a more of a more of a grape mm. like a grappa kind of thing mm. Mm. it's good but it is it is it is uh a little different than those would let you, would yeah, let yeah, you yeah. think yeah, yeah but you're you're definitely getting that plum you're definitely getting that orange peel yeah it's uh apple juice honey 
a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. I can't believe that these guys are only four years old. Uh, really, the, the impressive thing is not the whiskey itself, it's that it's already this good at four years. All right, imagine that, at 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I imagine when they, when they get some actual age under their belt. This is very promising. Now the price point on this is about a hundred bucks. Yeah, so uh, a little think, high. Yeah, and I think the, and it's, it goes from a hundred to a hundred and twenty, uh, depending on where you are. Um, but it is the only Italian yeah, whiskey. Yeah. So, so uh, the, they, these are the first uh, whiskey distillery to ever open up, right? Uh, so. So good uh, for them. Yeah, exactly. Right, <laughs> first, first through the door. Yeah. Uh, it's family owned, operated, right? So you're you know, you're, you're going to get a little bit higher price. This isn't Glen Levitt, right? This isn't uh, Glen Fittick. Um, mm. Is it just music getting better as mm, we drink it? Mm. Once you get used to that turn around on the flavor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Once you, it's like that, okay, I, that, I'm on. That finish is, it's fresh, right? Uh, it's uh, plums. Uh, it's a little short, but you get cloves on yeah. the back end. Yeah, I get that. It's crisp. It's a little young. It's yeah. a little young. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying. It's a little fresh tasting. Mm -hmm. But, you know, for four years in sherry casks, normally the sherry casks would completely <coughs> destroy the flavor. Yeah. So this is actually really well balanced. Yeah. Unless I add a little water. <laughs> wow, where'd this ice come from? Movie magic. <laughs> <laughs> so, Daniel, you love Chianti, you love any Sangiovese, you love Bar Barolo di Montecino. I do. Does this stand up to your history of love for Italy? Mm. <sighs> wow, with the water, yes. The water actually just mm. cuts right through mm. that fresh flavor, mm. and it just tastes like a really good, well-balanced, aged, sweet whiskey. You're, you're right. The water did, uh, and any spiky notes that you were getting, uh, those are gone. No, those are gone. But it still is. A, it's still rich tasting. It actually, and it actually got sweeter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it got it got a little bit sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is just right. Not a lot of water, but just a little bit was all it needed. Yeah, it definitely got friendlier. Yeah. Um, it definitely got friendlier. Uh, I'll give it a try on ice. Thank you, sir. Try. I have a feeling that the cold in the ice is not going to be friendly, mm. but we'll find out. It's an easy sipper. Um, I uh, yeah yeah I'm and and it's I'm, actually fine with the ice. Yeah yeah it's it's okay with ice. It's better with the water. The ice you you lose a little bit of the flavor on the ice, but but you know what? With the ice you still get a little bit of the peppery notes yeah. in there. Yeah. Uh, a little bit more of the alcohol, whereas with the water it actually just really sweetens up. Mm. It's definitely friendlier uh, with a, with a splash of water. Um, I. I don't know if I like it better with with water. I kind of like the little um, aggressive spikiness and with, without the it was good. And without it the was water. Good. But if you're gonna sit there and you're gonna drink a glass, yeah, you mm -hmm. know, and you're not just gonna be sipping a little bit, yeah, um, I think a little bit of water is the way to go. Yeah. Not the ice, maybe, but just a little bit of water. So they've got a couple, um, and they've, they've got a peated, they've got a, a wine cast, and they've got their, their sherry cast. This is very promising. Uh, consider, uh, considering that this is their uh, their sherry cast version, I, I you know I can't wait to try their uh, their peated and the rest of them. Um, it is good. It this is. is this is definitely good. Let's all buy bottles from them to make sure that the business keeps going. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, Shelf, with with that price, that they, they they should be top shelf. With the way that bottle looks, it should be top shelf. Um, That's true. I don't know if it's top shelf yet. Uh, you know, I'm, I I'd, I'd, I'd say give uh, give it a couple years and wait till they're twelve or you know 
you know, 16 comes out, right? Like, for the I, price point. Yeah, for the, for the, you know. Unless, unless you really are interested in tasting what an Italian whiskey tastes like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not an easy thing. Yeah. It's almost there. It's almost there. I think, and I think in, in the years to come, they're going to be very impressive. This is a great start, but uh, I don't think it's top shelf yet. I agree. Mm. But it is very good. It is very good. Yeah. It is very good. I would be very interested to try the other types. Yeah, of yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm, well, I'm going to pick up a bottle of the peated in their wine cast, I think, next. Mm. This is good. Yeah. Go up. Buy a bottle. You know, support them. I, I, I agree with Daniel. Uh, they're, they're doing great things. They're doing God's work in Italy, right up in the Alps. Well, today's toast is, here's to those that wish us well. And all the rest can go to hell. All, all hail, hail cow. cow. I'm going to be drunk. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's strong. <laughs> that shit's 46%, man. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.